At this point, a lot of people that follow AI, they've used the top tools like Runway for video, Midjourney for image generation, Suno for music, Eleven Labs for voice. They're all great, but honestly, there are some underrated AI tools that I use myself that I think beats the top AI tools right now. So in this one video, I wanted to show you eight different AI tools. I really think they're hidden gems in the video, audio, and image generation world. And I think you're really gonna like some of these more than the popular ones. The first one is Ideogram. It's actually the most popular on my list, but it's still far less popular than Midjourney and the image generation inside of ChatGPT. And you could basically generate all kinds of different images here, but it's specifically good at text. And I think it beats Midjourney and ChatGPT when it comes to generating images that have text. And that's something I do pretty much every single week. Okay, I'll start with a prompt that has some very specific text and you have some options here. So you could create all kinds of different aspect ratios. I'll create a 16 by nine one. This one is really interesting. This magic prompt option is on and it enhances the prompt even more. Now I usually generate my prompts inside of ChatGPT with some back and forth conversation, but this I usually leave on here too. They have really good consistent characters if you wanna tell a story that requires a consistent character across different images. Now they also have a style option. I'm gonna leave it on auto, but reference is really interesting. You could upload an image and it will pull that reference in. And you could also change your colors here if you want something very specific. And as you can see, you got the text perfectly right. And then after it generates, you do have some options here on the right side and you could tweak them even more. So if you wanted to, you could press the plus sign, use the prompt again, and then make any type of alterations you want. Here's another one I just created with a lot more text. And again, if you read this, it got every single piece of this text right. I created one for a chiropractor. This is for an Instagram page. Again, all the text is great. So even if you don't need an image and you just need graphic, this could do that too. Now this one took me two rerolls to get it right, but you got in the second try the spelling right too. So when it comes to creating images with text, I think Ideogram definitely beats out Midjourney and ChatGPT. Now the next one on my list is also great at creating images, but it's also good at creating vector graphics, icons, illustration. Here's an example of an image set where I gave it six different prompts and it followed the same style. So these kind of graphics are not really possible, at least not easily possible with other AI tools. This one makes it really easy. And under the image settings, you could actually choose from all kinds of different different styles in just one click without having that in your prompt and it keeps that consistent across that image set. So for example, if I wanted to do photorealistic or vector art, let me try photorealistic here. I'll apply it and I'll send this out. So this was the illustration. Now it's gonna create a new one for me. Now here's the same one. And as you could see, I added a little bit of text to every single one and it's following a really nice theme over here and it got to text perfectly right too. I'll do one last one in this style here. Let's apply that. And here's what that style looks like. And they have other options. I'm showing you the image set option, but they also have these mockups where you could type in a text prompt here. And here's an example of what a product mockup could look like from a simple text prompt. Now, when it comes to generating music, most people don't know this app could do that too. So this is Eleven Labs, and it's one of the most popular tools out there. It's the leading tool for creating AI generated voices but they have a whole lot more than that. They could actually generate audiobooks, and they could generate music too. So I'm gonna to show you this music option for this one. Now you could get to this on the 11 Labs website, but it's slash app slash music. This is the URL for it. And you just have to type in a text prompt. Again, I got the text prompt from ChatGPT. I copied and pasted it here, and you could get up to four with one prompt. I'm gonna do two here and you could change the duration. I'm gonna leave it on auto, but if you want something very specific, let's say you're making a video, you only need one minute or a commercial 30 seconds, you could go ahead and do it there. Okay, this generated in like 10 seconds. I'm gonna jump a little ahead so you could hear the chorus too. For your worries to the wind, let the magic pull you in. Now here's a whole different style, a soundtrack without any lyrics. Music 
And if it's been a while since you looked at Eleven Labs, I highly recommend checking out their sound effects. They could generate sound effects too, so you could use sound effects with music in any video you create. And this one is really interesting too. This audiobook function just came out where you could upload content here, choose a voice, and it will create an audiobook for you too. The next one on my list is Hailu AI. It's one of the top AI video generation platforms and they are the sponsor for today's video. And I wanna show you their latest update here for creating videos. You could start with a start frame and an end frame and create some really unique videos this way. Here are some of the examples that they have and I'll show you some of the ones I've created myself. This allows you to get precise control over the first and last frame while handling really complex prompts and scenes reliably. Here's an example I've created. And with Hilu, you could actually go to the image tab right here, type in a text prompt. So I generated my very first start frame that way, and I created my end frame that way. And then in the video tab, you just click over here for your start frame, and you could choose from all the images you've created inside this platform already, or upload any one you already have. So this is gonna be my start frame, and my end frame is gonna be the watch. And this is one of my favorite use cases. I worked in video production and commercial video production for over 15 years. So this allows you to do exactly that, showcase products and brands with a lot of creativity, something that would be very, very hard to do with motion graphics before this type of tool was available. This also is great for storytelling. It just creates a stronger narrative impact if you use the start and end frame feature. And this gives you a lot of cinematic possibilities. One of my favorite options is down here where you could describe the transition in text. So a camera movement says orbit around the flower and then zoom out revealing the vastness of the Milky Way. I'll put a link in the description so you could try Hilu AI for yourself. Now the next one on the list is Viggle AI. This lets you animate characters and objects into existing video clips. And it's super simple to use. You could technically do this with things like Runway Act 2, but this makes it so much easier. Let me show you how it works. So under the Mix tab, they have a Motion tab and they have a Character tab. So you could upload a video clip here. I'm just gonna use one of the templates here. And then you could go ahead and upload an image. Again, I'll choose one of the examples. And then you could just go ahead and generate. So this will kind of do a face swap with that character. Okay, and then <laughs> this is kind of the result you get. Now, this is not gonna be Hollywood grade, but you could see how quick that was. I didn't do anything besides pick a video and pick an image and it kind of created this face swap here and then you could remix it and try it again. And they also have an editor option. So if you have multiple characters in a scene, you could actually select just one character here by painting them and then swapping just that character. So that comes in really handy. And they have a pretty generous free tier too, if you don't mind the watermark. Okay, the next one is called Napkin AI, and it's actually one of my favorite tools for creating visual things when I'm creating any type of presentations, especially for work. So with Napkin, this is something I was working on, which is kind of a text document. You could copy and paste this from any existing text document into Napkin. And then with anything that you see, you could select it, and then you get this little icon here. This will generate a visual for you. And you could see it creates a bunch of different variations here. As I scroll through, you could see different variations. And each of these variations also has different styles. So let's say a black and white style was a better fit or maybe more like a blue theme, depending on your layout, what you're using this for. And in this case, I actually like this very top one. And if I just select this, I could download it. So I could press export. I could download it as a PNG with a transparent background if I want. I could take it straight to a PowerPoint. I like to use a PNG version of this and it will remove the background for me and then it will take my website background, for example, if I wanna do it that way. They also have dark mode and light mode available. You could also up res it here with this resolution option. And then when you download it, you could go to different tools. You could go to PowerPoint or Gamma. Gamma is my favorite way to create visual presentations with AI, but I like to create these visuals in a different program like Napkin and then bring it into Gamma. Now, this next app is called Scenario. This is tailored for game developers and concept artists for generating consistent characters. It could also create entire environments. It could create prompts. It's a really interesting tool and it has access to some of the top tools in the same platform like Runway. So let me show you how it works. I'm gonna to go to create. These are all the different things you could create. You could create videos, 3D images, but in this case, I'm gonna show you edit with a prompt option. This is really interesting and it's new. 
Now, on the left side, you have different models, like Flux is a really good one. You could do a GPT, the one that's inside of ChatGPT. And then you could upload an image right here. I'll upload one that I generated inside of Midjourney a while ago. Now, this one was Midjourney version 5 or 6. And then down here, you could give it an instruction on what you want changed in the image. And it works a whole lot better than Photoshop, which kind of has this built in, but it doesn't work nearly as well. The nice thing is it also could suggest prompts, not random prompts, prompts based on this very specific image, which I found really helpful. So for example, make the glasses oversized or change the hair color to more vibrant. I'll choose this one, replace plaid shirt with vintage leather jacket. You could change your image count here. You could change your aspect ratio. I'm going to leave everything on default and generate this. Okay. That looks pretty good, right? It just replaced the shirt with this jacket, but it kept the character overall really, really consistent. And because it's all in the same platform here, I could do a lot of different things. For example, I could one click remove the background from this object here. I don't have to take it to Photoshop to do that. And then from here, I could convert to 3D to video. I could even enhance it here with some of the paid options they have. Now, this next one could turn any text or image into a 3D model that you could go ahead and 3D print. So I got myself a 3D printer and I've been doing this quite a bit. You basically create it, take the OBJ file, which is the file format, and it will go ahead and print it really, really nicely. Let me show you how this works. This is called Triple 3D and there is another one called Meshi. And I think this is even better than that. Meshi is the more popular one. I'm going to use the image to 3D option because I already have an image. I actually generated one inside of ChatGPT that I'm going to go ahead and upload here. Now, if you wanted to edit this image, you could also edit that with Flux or GPT. They do give you those options and then type in a text prompt to edit. I actually created this with GPT already. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this and I'm going to leave everything on auto here on the left side. And it will take a little bit of time here to start generating. So I'm going to let this finish up. And here's my 3D subject here just from one image. So I just uploaded the front image here and it's extremely detailed here. I mean, let me zoom into this. Look at the details of this thing is incredible. Now, if you want to texture this, you could also choose this texture option. So I'm going to go ahead and generate that to show you what that looks like. And here is our textured version of it. And then if you export it here, and then if you have a 3D printer, I actually have one called Bamboo. It's made by a company called Bamboo. And then you could go ahead and print these in 3D. I printed these in five inch and it looked really, really good. And that's the list of underrated AI tools that I think go toe to toe or even beat some of the big names. Let me know which one was your favorite. And check out this other video I made showing you seven AI tools that are more business oriented.